Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And this is going to be an interesting one because it's really simple. And here's how it goes. Uh, we have two British 1926 battle cruisers. The enemy fleet is Italy 1921, 10 heavy cruisers. 12,000 meters is the starting range. You have one hour of game time to sink as many as possible. The catch... We have three minutes to design our ship. Whatever we can do in three minutes, that's what we go with. So in just a second, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. And then we're going to start on the screen and go. I haven't given this any thought. I'm going to go into this absolutely fresh. I haven't tried practicing to see what I want to build. I'm just going to go into it and see what happens. Okay, I'm getting ready to start my stopwatch and go. Okay, so let's see. First things first, we got to make sure we get everything that's essential on this thing. We cannot mess around with that. We have to make sure that we don't miss a single thing that can go on this ship uh, that is essential. So we're going to start by throwing those things on here. Uh, we'll worry about all this stuff later. Let's, let's go to guns. Okay, I'm already at 21 seconds. Uh, huge superimposed barbette. Uh, we're going to get a couple of barbettes on this thing. We want to get our main guns for sure. Uh, 17s. These are Mark 1s, Mark 2, Mark 3. Um, all right, we're going to go with, I think we're going to go with 15-inch guns. Uh, triples. I probably don't need a barbette that size, though, do I? I probably could have gone with something a little smaller. Darn it. Okay. Uh, let's go with the standard barbette, then. Now we got to go back and do this. Okay, we're at one minute already. Oh, boy. All right, so let's get at least a minimal anti-torpedo on this thing. We have no limits as far as protection goes, so there's no reason to skimp on anything when it comes to protection. We could also get some secondary guns on this thing. Eight-inch guns, I think, could probably uh, do nicely against an enemy that's mostly heavy cruisers. All right, we're at 130. We're halfway there now, so um, I definitely want to get some torpedoes on this thing too. We're just going to max every, throw everything we can on here as quickly as we can. Oh, we're way overweight. Oh, we didn't change the armor. That's why. There we go. All right, range finder. Give me gun aiming speed give me acoustics no radar at that time period that's okay uh, we've done everything there give me high TNT give me anti flood we're over two minutes now okay we're pretty well maxed out there we don't have a lot of armor on this thing I'm a little concerned about that where's my engine efficiency is good ah oh, boy I don't like the fact that we're kinda maxed out ah oh, boy I'd, I'd love to be able to throw some more armor on these things. I'm concerned about protection right now. Um, darn it. I guess we're just going to have to go without the armor. And take our chances. Four weight offset is pretty bad. We've got just a few seconds left. to try. But honestly, I'd rather have the, the four weight offset be where it is. Alright, 251. I think I'm just going to stop there. We're going to go with what we've got. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Ten, ten heavy cruisers, one hour of battle time to finish them all. First things first, I'm definitely going to detach these two from one another. And I'm definitely going to get us focused on separate targets. Let's go alt there. Same thing here. I want to I want to focus on different targets with different guns. We'll just have these guys follow them for now. Still getting our guns turned. Boy, brutal uh, accuracy so far. 
It'll take some time. That's a lot of firepower coming in at us. I feel like we're gonna kinda have to go right at these guys. So we can get quick quick kills. Even with the minimal belt armor that I have. Oh, there's a good first shot with our 15s. Oh yeah, that was devastating. That's how quickly we can get kills with these 15 inch guns. That might be a sinking shot there if we flooded enough compartments. We'll just have to see here in a minute. But if we could get one of them taken out in the first three minutes, that would be phenomenal news. I don't think we did. Oh, maybe. It's going to be really close. Yeah, I think we got him. All right, one down, three minutes in. Beautiful. I'm feeling feeling better about this. If if one salvo is going to be enough. Those 8-inch guns of mine might not do a whole lot, but that's okay. See, we're only at a four less than 5% chance to hit and we already got a sinking. That's what's nice. Let's go ahead and turn toward them. Keep heading straight at them. I'll take my chances just because they've only got 9 inch guns. Although the closer I get, the more damage those can do. There's a big hit. Let's go ahead and aim at a target that's a little closer. So far, so good, man. I'm liking how this is going. I think we're going to need one more hit on this one, though, to take it out. Uh, hit a little better than that, though. Once we identify a couple of these, we can see if they've got torpedoes, because that's the one thing I'm a little concerned about is if they get a big spread of torpedoes on me. Nice, there we go. Alright, Furious, you go after this guy here. We're getting in nice and close now. This is where I gotta worry about torpedoes if they have them. Oh, and they do. Marco Polo's got torpedoes. 16 of them. We gotta finish off San Giovanni quickly. We're coming up on 10 minutes in, and we haven't gotten a second kill yet. He's a little, I think, is that my torpedo range? Oh, there we go. Yeah, my torpedo range is 12.8 kilometers. Let's get aggressive with the torpedoes, shall we? Really nothing to lose by throwing some out there. Oh, come on, finish off San Giovanni. We're ten minutes in now. Taking some damage now. Ooh, big hit with the 8-inch guns there. Or was that the... Is that the big guns? I don't know. Marco Polo is pretty close. So is Etna. We might get three kills in pretty rapid succession here. There goes Marco Polo. 
And there come the torpedoes from him. I'm going to let my ships kind of select their own targets right now. At least for the time being. Etna's done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there's three. All right, we are 12 minutes in, and we've got three of the ten taken out. Surprisingly, San Giovanni lasted longer than those other two. I believe the tiebreaker will be the, the time it takes to uh, sink them all. So if multiple people sink all ten in less than an hour, whoever does it fastest would be the winner. All right, there goes San Giovanni. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and let my ships switch targets on their own this time. Now it's going to take a little while before we get further targets taken out just because that was kind of the front line. And now we've got a secondary line of ships. There was a big ammo detonation on the Riguero. I don't think that'll be enough to get a sinking, but you never know. We're 15 minutes in now. A quarter of the way through this, and we've taken out, well, about a third. Almost 40% once Ruggiero's taken out. Go ahead and reattach. Since there's really not too much of an issue right now with torpedoes in the water, I think we can keep them in one formation. All right, we're 16 minutes in. Colossus just switched targets. That's okay. I'm going to go with it. We're going to hope that Furious can finish off Ruggiero. Uh, see, this is what I was worried about. We're having a gap here in our sinkings. And now we've switched targets again. Ooh, major hit there. I'll slow things down for just a minute here. I think Fernando Ferdinando is gone. Let's go back to Ruggiero and see if we can finish this one off. Nice. I don't think it's a question of whether we will get all 10 in an hour. It's more of a question of how quickly we get them. Oh yeah, there's the flash fire on Ruggiero. She's toast. It leaves us one, two, three, four. Six down in 20 minutes. Actually, yeah, I want Furious to go after this one here. We're staying well out of his torpedo range, which basically makes us almost impossible for him to sink. How are we doing here? We actually we got two back there and two up here. We're dealing with some flooding. Ugh. Accuracy not the best at the moment.
All right, here we go. Nice. That's a kill shot. Bye bye. All right. All right, Colossus. Now we need to get turned back around the other way. Come on, Furious. How far out are they? They're 14 kilometers out. That's the problem. So here, let's do this. Let's detach, and we're going to send Furious off that way. We're going to flip Colossus around now and go after these guys. We are 25 minutes in. We've got three to go, but some serious distance in between us. And that's going to slow things down quite a bit. All right, halfway in. We're dividing and conquering now. Although Furious is not going after the targets I want them to go after. All right, Colossus, let's finish this. Let's get turned this way. Get those turrets brought around. One more hit should do it here. And that's probably the one. Eh, maybe not. We're closing range here. We're down to 12 and a half kilometers. I'd like to get this done before 45 if I can. There we go. Ammo detonation. That should do it. Beautiful. And then there were two. Let's split this up. I'd like to have this done in the next nine minutes. My goal is uh, at 45 to have all 10 of them sunk. Get furious turn so we can get those rear turrets on target. Come on, guys. Alright, we might have them here. It looks like they're the flooding is kind of spreading. So they obviously don't have oh yeah, that'll do it. Ammo detonation. Just need to see that flooding spill into the next compartment thought it was going to I guess it's not all right we're five minutes to go come on guys five minutes on my timeline I should say there there it is there it is okay they're done and it leaves one three minutes to go on my timeline Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Lovely. Oh, didn't mean to go back over there. I just wanted to see when the next 15s were coming in. 
minute and a half. I want to get this done in the next minute and a half. That's only going to allow for maybe one or two more salvos from each. I think we got them. Yep, there it is. All right, 9, 16, 13. Awesome. Well, let me know your thoughts about that. Please make sure you go and check out everybody else's videos. I'm really curious to see how they did. And uh, we'll see you again next week with another challenge. Thanks for watching.